Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between arrived homes and fundrise. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their investment opportunities. Arrived Homes focuses on supplying divided shares in rental homes to investors. They then earn dividends from the net income rent. In contrast, Fundrise lets investors purchase shares from income-producing properties, crowdfund their money to develop housing, and buy into the interval fund. However, depositors must first buy a portfolio with Fundrise, unlike Arrived Homes. Some available portfolios include Starter, Balanced Investing, Supplemental Income, and Long-Term Growth. Fundrise, therefore, provides more opportunities for investors to choose from. Costs and Fees With Arrived Homes, investors must make a minimum deposit of $100, with no maximum limit. The investment firm also charges a set 1% annual management fee, an 8% property management fee, and a one-time sourcing fee. When investing with Fundrise, however, investors have the choice of five packages. Starter for $10, Basic for $1,000, Core for $5,000, Advanced for $10,000, and Premium for $100,000. It also has an annual management fee of 1%. Fundrise is therefore the more affordable real estate investment trust because its minimum deposit cost is significantly lower. Early Funds Withdrawal and Liquidity Arrived Homes only allows withdrawals on 5- to 7-year investments. The company does not permit early liquidation or withdrawal, meaning short-term investments are impossible with Arrived Homes. However, with Fundrise, investors can withdraw early and make short-term investments. Although the firm recommends investing for a minimum of 5 years, early withdrawals are available every quarter so long as the investment is at least 90 days old. If redeemed before five years, one will incur a 1% withdrawal fee. Fundrise is therefore more accommodating to both long- and short-term investors. But do they have any similarities? Yes, they do. Both platforms' websites have user-friendly interfaces and adequate information on the available investment opportunities. Additionally, Arrived Homes and Fundrise are of good industry reputation. They have a ratings on Better Business Bureau and are duly accredited. To sum up, which is better, Arrived Homes or Fundrise? I highly appreciate how Arrived Homes offers lucrative long-term investments with a reasonably low deposit. The company also has its papers in order, so investments are guaranteed safe. However, Fundrise gives more diverse investment plans and packages for very low investment amounts. I also love that one has the option of early withdrawal with this firm. For these reasons, I pick Fundrise as the overall winner. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching.